If you didn't know, today <laughs> what is it? It is National Gingerbread <laughs> House Day. We're gonna give you some knowledge. Okay. Gingerbread figurines actually date back to the 15th century. Oh. If you didn't know, didn't know. And in nope. the 17th century, only professional gingerbread bakers were allowed to bake them, except at Christmas. Blasphemy. And I know. But today, it's now an annual tradition for many of us to celebrate. And today, Ooh, look at that. We are gonna be making our own <laughs> little gingerbread houses. We got our graham crackers going on. We we got our candy canes, vanilla icing. I'm so gonna have a shanty. We're gonna get started. We're gonna see who can make the best one. But while we do that, we've got all this candy here. Uh -huh. Candystore.com has revealed everybody's favorite Christmas candy in each state. So what can you it? guess which one is here for Louisiana? Mm. Christmas You're not gonna guess. I'm not. Pez. What? Come on, Pez. that's not Christmas. That's not even Christmas. Right? Pez. Mississippi, it's Snickers. That's not Christmas either. Not and then Christmas Pans either. Pennsylvania, it's candy canes. I need and the peppermint bark. I... Close to two billion candy canes are produced Is each year, including 150 million chocolate Santas. Are we supposed to be doing this now? Yes, we are. Oh, okay. We're gonna be running out of time because I haven't <laughs> great value. Like, begun this. Is this the great value graham crackers? <laughs> 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 Don't not great value because I, I, I love great value. value. Cheer I, I love great love value too. But. I'm going to try and get this going as I'm, as I'm talking here as we talk about candy. I'm having. All right, but we're also talking holiday Christmas parties. I'm going to have a shotgun gingerbread house. I'm going to make. Hey, I'm that's a, a good idea. Go ahead. But according to social media site LinkedIn, nearly half of professionals say that you know they actually had a really positive experience during their holiday Christmas party, mm -hmm. and it kind of helped them out in the long run. So they've listed an etiquette guide to maybe help you get through it if maybe office parties aren't your thing. Ooh. So uh, number one, what if is? you're doing your office party, uh, your path to career progression can kind of form there. Oh. So remember, it's still an office party. You mm -hmm. want to dress appropriately. Always nice. drink in moderation, oh. New mm -hmm. Orleanians. Uh -oh. And when it comes to conversation, remember, <laughs> there is such a thing as too much information. Yes. It kind of goes along with the alcohol. I don't, agree. Don't do that. I'm All starting right. with the porch, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you also want to know point. when it's time to leave, and of course, thank your boss and the organizer for yeah. the party. So we're gonna hurry up. Are you supposed see to if we can get these uh, oh, Lord. gingerbread houses. Are you supposed together? to take a gift to your Christmas party? Oh, I think it depends. Yeah. We've done office Christmas parties here at WDSU mm -hmm. where we bring we bring gifts. Yeah. And if they tell you that it's a twenty dollar gift, make sure you bring a twenty dollar gift and don't. not and not you know a, a five dollar gift tell because then you make yes, people upset for when don't they bring the twenty dollar gifts. Do that. Don't go. We know low. this by experience. Yeah, we do know. That. Yes, we do. <laughs> Please don't. don't bring anything already in the office. And we're not bitter about it. Not we're at not. all. All right, we're gonna reveal our gingerbread houses after the break, so you don't want to miss that. <laughs> Stay with us. This is a struggle house, y'all. I want to eat the icing. <laughs>